Sochi Milco is about 35 kilometers south of Mexico City. This is the top layer. We put a day aside to experience the canals and visit the Museo Dolores Almedo located nearby. Sochi Milco is a popular weekend outing for thousands of Mexicans and tourists. The famous canals of Sochi Milco are the last remnants of a vast water transport system built by the Aztecs. It's still an important market gardening and flower producing centre for the city, despite it being surrounded by urban sprawl in the latter part of the 20th century. Colourful gondola-like boats called truckineras take visitors on cruises while food vendors, artisans and mariachi bands float past. Sochi Milko is also famous for its chinampas or floating gardens. The locals built branch and reed rafts on the lake and covered them with mud from the bottom of the lake. Here they cultivated fruits, vegetables and flowers which they shipped to Mexico City via canal. In time the rafts took root and became islands. We found Ubers really convenient in Mexico City and we caught one to our next stop, Dolores Almedo Museum. The Museo Dolores Almedo is an art museum in Mexico City based on the collection of a Mexican businesswoman, Dolores Almedo. Quite close to the entrance is this museum of popular art and on this day it was art associated with the construction of Mexico City and the Day of the Dead. La Catrina. The Metro bus is a system of rapid transport in Mexico City, which started in 2005. We used it several times. And this is the train system with the platform and the waiting area. And of course the conductor. There are thousands of these green minibuses all over Mexico City. This looks like a tunnelling machine at work. At the Sydney Olympics in 2000, Soroya Jimenez became the first ever female athlete from Mexico to win an Olympic gold medal. This altar pays homage to the victims of the earthquakes in 1985 and 2017. Dolores Olmedo bought the rundown 16th century eight acre property in 1962. Upon her death in 2002, she dedicated her estate to the public. The gardens feature more than 25 varieties of Mexican plants and trees. A plethora of peacocks strut about the lawn.
and there are geese in abundance. And these are the hairless dogs of Mexico. Estoy esperando a que baje un poquito la gente. Más o menos ya sé como la fecha de que... Hola, Paqui. ¿Cómo estás, princesa? Te extraño. They look like they are, don't they? Yes. Thank you. The geese are coming too <laughs> to help out. Oh, look. look at them. Look. Mm. Kitchen couldn't care less. Big display. Mm. The estate comprises five buildings, each with their own exhibitions. This display was about the changing landscape of Mexico City. Here we can see Mexico City's cathedral built over the Templo Mayor buildings of the Aztecs and the construction work for the underground railways. the dedication plaque to Dolores Olmedo, as well as the beautiful gardens and peacocks, the five building complex contains the largest private collection of works by Diego Rivera, with whom she shared a unique lifelong friendship. Under the guidance of Rivera, Olmedo amassed a vast collection which she donated to the people of Mexico. The museum houses 128 of Rivera's works and 25 of Frida Kahlo, plus more than 6,000 archaeological pieces. Displayed within the cavernous rooms of the main house is a gallery displaying pieces from different periods of Rivera's work. This was the last work he painted and signed. The collection of Carlo's work is considered among the best in the world. She painted this double portrait for Diego's 58th birthday. This painting alludes to the bus accident Frida had in 1925. She was on a bus to Coyoacan on the way home from school when it collided with a trolley car. This is the artist's memory of being fed by a wet nurse. In this painting, she uses fruit, birds and artifacts native to Mexico to make statements on Mexican nationalism and independence. Another still life painting that was commissioned by her dentist. Frida is looking through a mask which allows her to conceal her pain. Some examples of her ceramics. On the way out we managed to find the spot to stand when there's an earthquake. Another fantastic day in this beautiful country.